Hi, it's Ryan from Ryan Fowler Photography and in this video I have a very quick couple of tips and tricks for filming and shooting with a Canon RC6 wireless remote. These are very cheap, very easy to pick up. You can get them for like $25 for the genuine one on eBay, I think it is. Um, but if you're doing stills, there's a little option on the back where you can either put it on the dot or put it to the number two. If you're doing the dot, that will take an instant photo with the, with the remote. If you put it on the number two, that will actually activate the two second timer as well. And uh, if you're doing filming, this is what this video is really about. If you're doing filming, uh, it's great because if you put it on the, the little slider on the dot, you can take a photo of what your camera is seeing. And if you're doing a one man filming show like I am at the moment, um, you can actually see how your framing looks. So you can take a photo without turning on a 10 second timer, running around, um, which I used to do before I discovered this little trick, uh, to see the framing and make sure that it's right. And if you're trying to actually film, you'd have to hit the start stop button on the back of the camera, run around, set up your microphone, everything like that. Uh, and then you can start talking, which would incur a little bit more editing time as well. But if you put it to the number two on the back of this remote and you've got it in film mode, you've got the uh, remote option turned on, you can actually start and stop recording just with the remote. So it makes it so much easier, especially for making any videos by yourself. And that's what I'm using to do right now. To actually set this up, it's very, very simple. On just about every Canon camera, uh, I'm not sure about some of the older models, but there is a little 10 second timer slash remote option. As long as you've got the infrared sensor on your camera, there will be a remote option. Uh, on some of the higher end models, like the Canon 6D that I'm shooting on now, it's got a two second or remote or a 10 second and remote option. Uh, and I've got it on the two second, I could have used a 10 second, either one would have worked perfectly fine. But that's under your drive mode, and I had a little bit of trouble figuring that out when I first started using the remote. I, <laughs> I didn't know where the option was or how to set it up. Anyway, please do give this video a like. Leave me a comment down below. What do you think? Uh, did you find this informative, helpful? Uh, I know that a video helped solve my problem, so I thought that I would put one out there as well, just to give you a few tips on using the remote and how to get the best use out of it. And then make sure you subscribe. I'm always producing more videos. Every week I'm putting, well, just about every week, I'm putting out something brand new. Uh, I'm working a lot on video content and creating more for the YouTube channel. So please do hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this and so much more. I will see you in the next video.